Hmm, excuse me. Hello there, Internet. Mr. Welch here, and welcome back to Outlast. We're about to say hi to the father, I think. This guy ain't gonna stab me. Are you gonna stab me? Gentlemen? Oh, I was so fucking right. Oh, no, that's... Somebody's alive there. Pardon me, gentlemen. Hope you uh, understand. No hard feelings. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. You alone shall escape the Talva. This is your penultimate act of witness. The promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. And here it is. You will watch and record my death, my resurrection. Resurrection? And together we will be free. Okay, sure. You are no longer in any danger. I fix the elevator. Okay. It will take you to freedom. All right. We will all of us be free. Sure thing there, Chief. No problem. Now, my son. Oh, crap. I'm just gonna yoink this then. All right, when's the um, resurrection happen? I mean, I can't believe Father Martin won up Jesus Christ himself in shitty ways to die. Okay, Miles is starting to grow on me, and I don't believe I'm going to miss him. No, a way out. If he's telling the truth, now I've got a way out and a story to tell. He wants me to spread his gospel, I'll tell the whole fucking world. Oh, wait, gentlemen, I don't suppose you're just gonna let me run, are you? Oh, you are? Really? Well, good day. No? Oh, that's an embarrassment. Oh, here we go. I was wrong, I, I guess. Sorry, gentlemen, I got turned around. You know how it is. Ah, there we go. Okay, it's dark in here. A little bit confused about the whole resurrection thing, but hey. Damn near out of here. Maybe not. See ya, fat man. I gotta tell, oh, bugger. Okay, c come on, let's talk about this, huh? Ow, damn it. I'm so sick of getting turned around with this fat bastard chasing me. I'm confused. Wait, what happened? Did he seriously just miss me? That's pretty funny. Through here then, yes. Elliot. No, up, up, Miles, up! Oh, come on, damn it. Up, then up. Jeez. <sighs> See you in hell. Oh, crap, no, please, 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 all the way down. No, 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 not all the way down. First floor, and then open. First floor, then open. First floor, yes. Okay, no, open, please, no. Open, please, no. No, no, no! Oh, God, no! No, 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 I don't want to go into the bowels of this place. Oh, no! No! Oh, God, no. No, 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 no! That's not fair, I did everything the Father said. He... He said I was free. He said. Oh, God. Oh no, 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 this isn't going to be fun. Oh no. I know that's just bullshit. 
Oh, fuck me. Ice? What? What? Oh, had a bit of a spike there. What is this? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, no. Fuck, 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 yeah? On that, uh, on that note, you are in agreement, Miles. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone. I am not crazy, I know, I know only crazy people say that. But I am as sane as this world allows with a camera full of evidence. Don't call it a gospel. Call it a mockery of reason. Let the world know it is Murkoff's fault. Bury these bastards with my mutilated dead body. Yeah, that seems like a fair note to make at this point, Miles. Oh, wait, they're gonna try and... Oh, wait, hang on. They're gonna try and kill me, aren't they? They're gonna try and kill me. Oh, shit. I've gotten on the, I've gotten on the bad side of a big, great big corporation, and now they're gonna try and kill me. Not good, okay. All right. Good news, you're far away from the big guy. Okay, counter blessings, there's one. And the polite dudes, those erudite bastards aren't gonna bother us anymore, no sir. We are, ah, blinding. What's the point of running? I'm dead, I'm dead man walking. Okay, we gotta find something. We gotta find something. There's gotta be something. Some kind of... Something. Come on. No documents at all. Oh my god. Is that someone's face? No, just torso. Oh, but there's a battery. That's... Small mercies. Small mercies. What about in here? Yeah, there's something. Project Wallrider, Postmortem Preparatory Report, MM1300921. Forum note, all material herein to be transcribed and revised fit to legally binding requirements of Murkoff Corp. Records, C Form 4083. Author Jennifer Rowland notes, my 14th autopsy of a Wallrider patient, showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphinogenesis, including an effect similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient, independent swarm of what? God help me. So tired, doubting my judgment. We'll submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoked patients is more than I feel I can handle. May suggest handing, hanging less hope on the far-flung theories of, the, of a senile Nazi and move towards using a simpler mechanical... Engine based on major sperm protein. Based on major... All this stuff is going right over my head. I don't know what they're trying to do, and I don't know how they're trying to do it. We'll definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints. Murkoff security killed patient 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. Let's use running. I'm a dead man. <laughs> That's not going to change anything. I'm still going to run. Whoa! Freedom! Oh, hey. This is the morphogenic engine. A few lines of mathematics and algorithm. Reprogram us, turn us into nightmare factories. A few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw and a few hours alone with Dr. Wernicke's corpse. I feel I owe him debt. 
I'm not, I still don't understand what's, so what, they, it's like an enzyme or something, and they put it into people and it turns them crazy? I don't fucking know. I, seriously, it's going right over my head. I'm going to have to look into a website or something to figure out what's up. Till then, there's little I can do but run. Like now! No! No! Ah! Uh, damn! I should have known! I should have bloody known! Silly fucking me! I don't even know where I'm supposed to run to. Oh no! No, 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 no! No, come on, man! Ah! No What? 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 What the? Okay. <sighs> this is the way you die. Ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scout on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me. I hope you somehow don't find another. Yeah, I got that feeling that he wasn't supposed to be all that bad. Anyways, he was supposed to be like, huh? Just let me escape, please. I can get out. I know I can. There's an exit right freaking there. Oh, but it's still all locked down, isn't it? Damn, yeah, it is. Okay. Let's replace the battery, go back to the front, and maybe the elevator will be back? I don't know, man. I, I don't know what's keeping the wall writer from killing me, but you know what? I ain't gonna question that. Just... People! What the... Wernicke? Wow, go figure. No such luck. I am older than sin, but somehow the only one left. Yeah, how are you? Because of Billy. Who the hell's Billy? He takes care of me. He may think I'm his father. Wall rider? He certainly loves me, the poor idiot. Do you know what this symbol represents? No. It warns of a nano hazard. Oh, what? Microscopic machines. Oh! Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. Birkhoff discovered in my research a workaround. Turning the cells in the human body into nano factories. Oh! The function of cells to produce molecules. But through psychosomatic direction, we engineered the precise molecules necessary. Okay. Mind. No, that's a completely satisfactory answer. Seriously. Well. Yeah, that's probably where you failed right there, I'll admit. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support. His anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. How do I do that exactly? Oh. Must kill him. I like your mug. How do I do that exactly? Ah, <sighs> oh, jeez. We achieved something like this in 1944. Oh God, here we go. Those fascists thought it was spirits. I let them believe it. Let them kill themselves, thinking there was some kind of afterlife now empirically promised to them. Poor Aaron. He would weep to see what I've built from his dreams. Billy doesn't mean harm. He's a child with a damaged mind. Granted the powers of a god. It would make any of us into a monster. Yeah, we must end this. We all must die here. Can I object to that last bit? Oh, the danger, <laughs> and they didn't care. In the corporation's mind, 
They all are just dollar amounts in a ledger. And the Prophet's Project War Rider promised overshadowed whatever pitiful balance a few doctors and patients amounted to. He will spread if you don't stop him. The morphogenic engine is self-perpetuating. I pray to God you have the strength to end it here with your death. You didn't... More than anything, I want to rest. Billy will not let me die. You could never imagine how cruel this is. I only want to die. Anyway, you don't think, like, not throwing in a kill switch was a bad idea? I'm all out of time, Internet, so it looks like we're going to finish this in the next episode. But until then, this is Mr. Welch, signing off.